Microchip implants are a popular way to keep track of pets. Now, some people are getting them, but for a different reason. The microchips can help unlock doors or log into a cell phone. Consumer Watch reporter Julie Watts explains. Tim Shank uses it to open his front door and manipulate a smartphone. And it turned off my ringer. Chrissy Heishman uses hers instead of a key card at work. And it's just a little glass bead like the size of a grain of rice. They're among a growing number of people implanting technology under their skin. We don't want to carry devices. We want devices built into us. Zoltan Ishvan of Mill Valley belongs to the transhumanist party. The movement seeks to radically improve humans through digital implants, even genetic manipulation. For now, a common procedure, implanting programmable RFID chips under the skin. But instead of a doctor's office, many are turning to tattoo and piercing shops. We're doing the procedure start to finish just like we would do an earring, a nose ring, a belly button ring. It's just a little piece of glass. The online company Dangerous Things sells a device and injection kit for 57 bucks. But they're not alone. A San Francisco company is developing tiny implantable digital tattoos. They'll authenticate credit cards, track your location, even collect health data. But the next big thing does present an age-old tech problem. I have the older chip now. I need to get the upgrade. Constantly being forced to upgrade implanted technology can mean a pain in more than just the pocketbook. Now, Zoltan says his chip only works with Android and Samsung, and he actually has an Apple. These devices do come with some other risks, in addition to, of course, infection. Uh, implantable tech raises some privacy and hacking concerns as well. Dangerous things, the company that sells that chip warns its device has not been tested for or certified by regulatory agencies. Julie Watts, KPIX5.